What's up everyone, 3 Print 747 back again with another video. What I'm printing here is an AMS riser because in the next couple weeks, I plan on ordering an AMS for this P1S. Um, as you all may know, I've also got this P1P, but I'm gonna throw the AMS on top of this guy. Um, and uh, yeah, start doing some uh, multicolor prints and see how things go. Um, so what the riser looks like is this guy right here. This is an accessory drawer. And the reason I'm just doing the accessory drawer right now is because I started to print the uh, frame of the riser uh, with um, two rolls of PTG, one on each um, P1P slash P1S. And they both uh, look like garbage uh, first layer. So I ordered new PETG um, and we'll see if this looks any better. I'm hoping for a nice solid uh, first layer lay down. So once this is done or while it's updating, I will report back and let you know how this stuff is going and uh, let you know about the filaments that I'm using. The red uh, PTG I'm actually printing with right now is Overture. I don't remember, well actually yeah I do remember, the two black spools that I used or tried to use for the frame was Polymaker and I've never used Polymaker before so I don't know honestly if it was an issue with something I did but I tried all kinds of settings and had no luck so I'm trying the same settings here um, just to print a small accessory uh, drawer for the riser and we'll see what happens um, in a bit so I'm hoping that Maybe the Polymaker PTG was not right. Something was wrong with it. I did uh, dry it, um, and that didn't help at all. So let's see what happens. Um, like I said, I've never used Polymaker before, so I don't know if it was something that I did or what. But the first layer, the laydown was like probably two millimeters between um, each pass, which looked like garbage. When I picked the layer up after I canceled it, the print, um, it looked like a screen. It was ridiculous. That's never happened to me with any of the PETGs that I've used in the past um, or any other filament. So let's uh, see what happens. And maybe I might need to calibrate the extraction the filament extraction, um, like one of y'all recommended, that might be the next step. So let's see, I'll keep you posted and report back shortly. All right, everyone, so here's what we're looking at. There's definitely an issue with the feed. Um, see on the left, the square, it's kind of chopped up right there. Um, there's also some garbage on the top layer so I'm going to stop this and then I'm going to do a calibration tomorrow to see if that fixes the issue it probably should I've got a brand new um, print head on it I installed a hardened nozzle um, so yeah um, let me go ahead and do that tomorrow maybe I'll document it I'll try to um, Tomorrow is going to be a learning experience because I've never done it with uh, a bamboo lab. I've only calibrated with any cubic and enders. So let's uh, cancel this print. It looks really good right there. But at the front, it kind of looks like garbage. Um, and like I said, over there. So maybe I'll cancel and restart. Maybe there was a flow issue around there 
let me um go ahead and do that. Maybe the nozzle didn't clean off, and that's why there's some bumps right there. Um, but now that it's clean and, and printing clean, let me um, go ahead and do that. I'll rip this up, restart, and see where we are. So I'll report back shortly. So I ripped this off the plate, and actually looking back at it, it's really not as bad as I thought. I might have been a little paranoid, um, but the bubbling on the sides here is actually the separation of the brim from the actual drawer. We did have that issue here, but that would have been the brim, so it shouldn't have been an issue. But yeah, I canceled the print. Um, what I also did was I added a layer of the Bamboo Lab liquid uh, glue stick and it was all over here that the glue stick was to the right because I've not really printed that close to the edge uh, before. So what I noticed when I took the um, PEI uh, sheet off of the printer that there was no glue over on this side. So maybe that's what happened is um, maybe it tried to lay the, the line down, kind of couldn't do it, bubbled up and just fell all over itself. So, um, this looks good. This looks really good. Um, I'm impressed with what it looks like. No issues at all. Um, so, yeah, I mean, being up this late and waiting for the print to lay the first layer down, I'm glad that I stopped it because of this over here but it probably would have recovered fine. I'm not sure if it would have lifted over here a little bit, which is the reason why I pulled it off the, the sheet. So let's, um, I'm gonna go ahead and kick it off again and um, we'll see what happens. I will report back shortly. All right, everyone, let's take a look. Um, the lines have laid down a little better there's still some garbage over there I'm not sure what's going on but things look smoother they look cleaner so I'm gonna let this run I'm gonna dust off that little bit over there on the left um, just so that it doesn't get in the way of the printer um, I'm sure it probably won't anyway but I'm paranoid like that so yeah let's uh, let this thing print right now looking at the layer I'm really happy with how it looks um, let me see if I can zoom in that's out. Yeah, so it looks really, really good. So, pretty happy with how it's going so far. So, it's uh, 1215 at night. I'm on the East Coast. So, I'm going to let this run overnight. Um, I think it said it was a five-hour print for this one accessory drawer. Um, I'm going to do two accessory drawers in red, and then I'm going to do the rest of the riser in black. Um, or maybe gray. Um, we'll see. So, um, yeah, I'll keep you updated. All right, so the printer has stopped. It went overnight. And it turned out good. real good. Um, I'm real happy with this. Sits flat, no warping. Um, bottom looks good. Yeah, this turned out real good. All right, on to the next one. 3D print 747. I'm out of here.